What's up guys, welcome back to Ghostin's Games, and today I want to do something a little different with you guys. As we approach the second year anniversary for the channel, I wanted to actually get a little personal with you guys. Uh, and I think this is something that a lot of people might be curious about, because, you know, people kind of want to know this type of information, and it, it's always fun to share you know, just information with each other so that way you have an idea of certain things. And, and today's topic, I actually wanted to discuss with you guys, you know, how much does a channel like my size make on YouTube? Now, results may vary and stuff like that. And, you know, and it's not specifically, a, a, a you know, a channel my size is not really the proper word for it. I guess... Or a proper phrase for it. I guess a proper phrase would be a gaming channel of my size would be a little bit more specific. Now, uh, again, the results may vary depending on a lot of different things because one of the biggest factors that come into as far as monetization goes for YouTube is watch time and views and interaction. YouTube cares a lot about interaction. So I kind of wanted to share this with you guys, especially those of you who might be thinking about starting YouTube and 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 doing you know all the work that it takes to to do this um, every day. Now I, I'm not saying that I'm here like breaking the bank and that this is like this is my source of income. This is absolutely not my source of income, as you're gonna see in a little bit. Uh, now I I just wanted to I wanted to do this and and talk a little bit before I actually go into specifics. I wanted to do this and talk about this with you guys because I kind of wanted there to be a little bit of transparency. Um, I don't I'm not sponsored as far as like, you know monetization goes for For any specific company or anything like that and I feel like you know if I am offered a sponsorship for things I I Don't know if, if I would accept it or not It really depends on the terms and services like whether or not I, I would have full control of my of the content that I pull up put out for Whatever it is that I'm being sponsored for if they want creative if they want to have more control over it So that way it spins it in more of a positive light I don't think so because then I can't I can't express my uh, my point of view on things like that and I think that's very important. So you know I I wanted to just basically show you guys when it comes to YouTube ad revenue um, and you know basically for for live streams and stuff uh, you know it, it's it's one of those uh, one of those things where you know again there's a lot of variables because there's things to take in consideration such as YouTube memberships or sponsors uh, there's things to take in consideration such as um, as, as uh, super chat on YouTube so those are the donations that you guys do so it's kind of hard to take some of those out because it's it's very sporadic but to give you an idea I would say you know the numbers that I'm gonna show you I would probably put plus or minus maybe 15% of that and maybe that's that's a little bit closer to the average ballpark uh, because like I said results may vary and I, I'm, I'm I would say 15 around 15 percent is a good you know plus or minus is a good uh, ballpark spectrum to put that into so let me go ahead and put this up and I will talk about it as you know as we look at it exactly so looking here this is my YouTube analytics for the channel now it says created in September 22nd, 2013. Ignore that because that right there is just when I created the YouTube account. That's not specifically when I made the channel because for me, when I made the channel is when I uploaded my first video. Now my first video got uploaded at the end of April. So that's why I am saying we're approaching the two year anniversary for the channel. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this and basically give you an idea of everything so this is for the past year this is not for the past uh, this is not for the lifetime of the channel from when I first uploaded because the numbers will change this is just the past year so past 365 days this is what we're looking at so as you can see here my watch time is almost at 3 million minutes for watch time uh, average view durations about four minutes that's not too bad you want to have like average view duration to be more of course because the the higher your view duration is the more people are watching the more 
the more content of yours that people are watching. Um, now, I know from speaking to other YouTubers as well, the average view duration for most YouTubers is going to be around like three minutes and 30 seconds to about four minutes and 30 seconds. So there's like a minute time frame gap in between of the average view duration. Now, there's, uh, there's ways to uh, increase the view duration. There's a lot of things that go into that. Um, and of course, if your channel is a gaming channel and you are just strictly a live streamer, your average view duration might be a lot higher. And that's because all you do is live stream as opposed to doing videos. If you're going to do video content, then your view duration, of course, is going to be lower as opposed to your live streaming counterparts. So if I was to go and look at a live stream of mine versus my actual videos itself, the the average view duration for minutes watched is going to be much, much higher than my view durations for the videos itself. That's just how YouTube is in general. Now, looking at the views, it's at 723,000 views. Now, as I mentioned, the views, yes, are important. The watch time is much more important. The higher your watch time, the more YouTube is inclined to promote your videos, to uh, to pay you more, and to put in more advertisements. Uh, you know, depending on the uh, you know what you allow them to do. And then on top of that, it will also put in the higher tier advertisements, especially during uh, times like Christmas or Black Friday, things like that, where it's you know they they tend to push more things for your channel or, or you know for ads. Um, now the estimated revenue this is for the past year again as you can see March 31st 2018 to March 30th 2019 now there is a one day delay so you got to take that in consideration as well um, and then if you look at the the likes versus dislikes you know the likes are, are t sitting at 22,333 this is across all my videos for this year or you know the past 365 days dislikes at 1212 again for the past uh, 365 days comments which is really important okay it's very important to have everybody engaged in the comments that like I cannot stress that enough because the more likes you have the more comments you have on your on your videos the more YouTube is inclined to promote those said videos because they're like hey there's a lot of discussion going on in this video we need to promote this because we're gonna make more money you know this is YouTube talking we're gonna make more money uh, if we promote this video so let's do that let's promote this video uh, shares again that's an important thing too. sharing 1642 people are less likely to share videos and stuff like that but it does happen I'm not gonna say like it doesn't happen it does happen I mean that's that sharing is a little bit out of your control that's left up to your subs or the people who want to promote your videos uh, that's up to them they share it across different social media platforms okay uh, videos and playlists which is interesting because I didn't I definitely don't have that many videos and playlists I'm not sure how that one works out but as you can see here uh, the numbers for videos and playlists has gone up tremendously so I'm assuming that videos and playlists means videos of mine that are featured in other playlists that's the only way that I can see that having any sort of relevance and then subscribers for the past 365 days as well so this is just a, a general over, over, overview, I should say, of my channel. So a channel my size sitting at 6,800 subs as of today over the past 365 days. Okay, now if I was to go monthly, you know, it, it's not, this is why I say, it, you know, it, as you can see from my estimated revenue, this is why I say it's not really like, this isn't my, oh, I can stop working type of deal, you know? So we go last 30 days. So we go last 30 days. You see my estimated revenue. Now it's estimated because it could it's give or take, you know, uh, you know, whatever whatever the amount is. So channel my size uh, this is why I said average view duration it's it's it changes a lot. It really does. And the the average is anywhere between 3 minutes and 30 seconds to 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's why I said if you put videos out and you, and you do more than just live stream there's a lot of variables in this type of situation now again channel my size you know we're not talking about like you know channels that have that have like 500,000 uh, 1 million subs you know obviously they're going to have more views more watch time average view duration might vary as well they might be higher 
um, and of course the revenue is going to be up as well now the uh, if so we're looking at it here this is for the past uh, 30 days my estimated revenue is two hundred and fourteen dollars and twenty nine cents now is that enough to support my family and quit working hell no hell no being 100% honest with you but what it does help me do is it helps me to provide more content because then I can play I can pay for more games I can uh, I can depending on what kind of games buy DLC or you know in-game transactions or whatever even though I don't like DLC and I don't like microtransactions but in order to put out the content I kind of have to so it helps me to be able to do stuff like that uh, and maybe pay like a small bill or something <laughs> you know because that that's always you know a good thing to do too is like yeah you know, we got to pay our bills first before we do anything else but you know it again that's not something that's gonna like break the bank or cause me to stop working or anything like that you know it's it's just to give you guys an idea if you are starting a YouTube channel and you're like oh you know when I get 10,000 subs I'll be good not really not really there's a lot of factors that go into play here and I just wanted to kind of make it transparent for you guys and and just you know put it out in front because like I said we're coming up to the second year of the uh, second anniversary for the uh, for the channel and I wanted to just have this discussion and just talk about things like this because I feel like there's a lot of people who want to know and I'm not saying like people have straight up asked me oh how much do you make in YouTube they don't they don't but I I did want to kind of show you guys you know how this works okay uh, views in the past month as you can see the views have been going up on the channel quite a lot which I I'm very happy about uh, because that means that my content is getting pushed out to more and more people and that's what I want I want more engagement I want to I want more people to uh, to be interested in the channel and to find the channel and that's that's important because as you as you can see when certain things start going up then everything else tends to go up as well so you got your my views started to go up along my views my watch time went up the average view duration it, it's always going to fluctuate like that that's just how it is but as you can see the estimated revenue went up because my views went up my watch time's gone up the uh, the likes have gone up the comments have gone up the dislikes have gone down which is great i'm always happy about that shares have gone up videos and playlists and subscribers have gone up now this is always up from the previous month so it's going to vary month to month as well but again this is a topic that I, I, I just wanted to be personal about this and put everything out in the open for you guys to kind of take a look at and understand now for me for a channel my size as well the uh, the videos so if we were to go down over here okay so if we go down over here so you guys can take a look at the videos themselves for top 10 videos so you look at watch time views estimated revenue uh, so if we're looking at things right now it's sorted by estimated revenue uh, so this one here is a live stream uh, so estimated revenue $20 for this live stream uh, this video right here $15 so you can tell what you know if I just go over it mouse over it you can tell duration 15 minutes 41 seconds duration one hour 18 seconds or 18 minutes those you know that's how you can tell the difference between a live stream versus a video itself um, so you know just things to kind of keep in mind when you're looking at things now let, right now it's sorted by estimated revenue let's sort of by watch time all right so watch time as you can see here views are not indicative to watch time okay you can have less views and have more watch time and I think that is a very important thing to remember because YouTube likes watch time more than views views are important but watch time is more important because then that's how long somebody is staying on the channel that is how long someone is staying on the platform on YouTube watching you so just something to keep in mind because if I was to sort it by views this top one's not gonna change but you can see the other ones they start changing out here and of course the watch time changes and the revenue changes as well so something to keep in mind now it's always gonna it's always gonna vary there's always gonna be variations um, that's not something that I can really like explain hundred uh, percent because as, as you can see here this one right here twenty dollars for the uh, for the estimated revenue when I change it to views it's not even here it's, it's not it's not even on here it has the least amount of views 
and it, it makes the most amount of money because the watch time is up there. So, you know, watch time in comparison to the amount of views. Again, that's why it's very important. Um, also, you have to also keep in mind people donating on Super Chat uh, and, and people being uh, becoming members on Super Chat as well. So that will also fluctuate the estimated revenue. Um, I hope that this was somewhat informational for you guys, uh, especially those of you guys who have small channels like myself. You know, if you guys are comfortable with showing how much you make if you're a channel my size or, you know, around that area, I'd like to know. I'm always curious to see how everybody's doing. I actually like, like I said, I talk to different people, uh, you know, different YouTubers that I interact with a lot, uh, such as Solitaire, Omnitoast, uh, you know, different, different YouTubers here and there um, as far as how much they make. Uh, what their watch time is, average view duration, views, what can we do to improve everything. We, we actually discuss this a lot between myself and other YouTubers to help each other grow. So I hope you found this kind of, you know, somewhat informational. Uh, it's, you know, those of you guys who have channels or have decided to start a YouTube channel, I hope that um, this doesn't discourage you at all. I, I don't think it should. I think YouTube should be something that you're doing for fun and not really for money because when it becomes about money, you're not really having any more fun with it. And then that takes away from the production quality of your videos and it takes away from how excited you are to do the videos themselves. So with that, I will leave that to you guys. Uh, leave me a comment down below and let's let's talk. I mean, like I said, it's this is a very, very personal video. I didn't need to do this. Nobody asked me to do this. I actually wanted to do it because I thought that this might help other people. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, I'm not, I, I can't just like be like, oh, I'm retiring. I'm just going to do YouTube. That's not happening. All right. Not happening. I got a family. I got bills to pay. Not happening. But again, I just wanted to help other people. And if, if some, if this helps somebody, I did my job. So thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will catch you all in the next video. You guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out guys.